this session, I'm going to cover how to customize the privacy settings in Windows 10. Windows 10, as it came out for the first year, it was offered for free for home users as a free upgrade for Windows 7 and Windows 8. And uh, one of the things is that Windows 10 they are trying to achieve is uh, something very similar to what Google now does in giving you customized information and customized feedback and even advertising based on your searching habits and also keystrokes, things that you type and things of that nature. So a lot of users are concerned about their privacy in Windows 10, even though it is free. For those of you that are concerned, you can customize the following settings. It's worth to note that uh, there are some settings when you first set up the computer that uh, you can uh, disable and you should disable. And I'm gonna post some of the pictures in here for you to view when you set up the windows for the first time or when you upgrade it. So this is one of the first screens after you install it. And then on the second screen, you need to choose those options off. And the third screen, and then the fourth screen here, just customize those options. And then on the fifth screen, choose to skip the Cortana setup. So as you can see, those are some of the settings that uh, you, you should be disabling or you can disable when you first set up uh, the computer. Now, if you're here in Windows and uh, you have installed the computer and you want to double check your privacy settings, like I mentioned, you under the search option here, you can uh, simply type privacy and then you go under privacy settings. Under privacy settings, now this is where you can go through each one of those options and uh, turn on or off certain things. For example, here, uh, let apps use my advertising ID for experiencing across and so on. I have that turned off. I don't want, I don't use the apps from the app store and uh, you may want to turn that off if you don't use the apps from the app store. Turn on the smart filter to check for URLs. That will probably be a helpful link to have on in your computer. Send the Microsoft info about what I write and what I what helps in typing and all that type of thing. Uh, that is grayed out in my case. Most uh, that is because I have Cortana disabled, and um, but uh, my suggestion or in my case I have it off. I'm not using that functionality. Let websites provide locally relevant content by accessing my language list. Even in that case, I have it uh, turned off. You can also uh, check in here and uh, customize the advertising and other personalization information that Microsoft has on you. And I believe you have to log into your Microsoft account for that. Now, the other thing that you can go and cha uh, change here under privacy and I'd recommend that you change is uh, you go here under the device location and it is uh, set to off. Now, what that does is that basically by default, it's going to track as to where your computer is. Uh, some of them, they have GPS capabilities. Some of the other ones, uh, capabilities, it can just track your location either on Wi-Fi or whatever other means there. So you can clear the location history if you prefer to. Also, you can choose to turn off the location for multiple apps here, for example, like camera, uh, Cortana, email, calendar, maps, and all that type of thing if you choose to uh, disable those, of course. If you choose to use them, then of course you don't disable them here. Camera as well, you can uh, uh, you don't let the apps use your camera unless they have your approval for specific things, you can choose to enable them. Now, of course, I'd have to turn it on over here and then turn it back off over here. For microphone as well, you could turn off the microphone. For speech and inking and typing, this is, it's basically getting to know me. That's what Microsoft calls it. Uh, they want to get to know you, what your calendar is, what you're doing, what you're searching for, what you're typing and all that stuff. So you can simply, uh, if you're concerned about your privacy, you can choose to turn that off. And in my case, it is off already. The other thing is under account information, let apps access my name, my picture, my other contact information. You could turn that off as well. Under contacts, you can determine whether if certain apps can access your contacts, your calendar the same way, your call history if it's connected 
through a messaging service like Skype or through your cell phone and things of that nature, your email messaging, the radios, what can control the radios in your laptop, for example, the Wi-Fi and, uh, and so on. Now be careful with that because you could turn it off over here, but then some app that needs it or Windows that needs it, it's going to not work. And then other devices, whether you want to sync with other devices and so on, you can turn that off if you need to. And here's another one that you might want to consider turning uh, off or down <laughs> to some extent. By default, Windows will send full diagnostic data to Microsoft, like more than probably you need. So my suggestion would be to change this to basic, to send to Microsoft only when something happens on your computer, it sends only the basic stuff and not background apps, what can run in the background, what is not allowed to be running in the background and so on. So you can just choose to turn those on and off as well. So that's uh, some of the privacy settings over here. Now, the other thing that you might want to consider is wireless settings under uh, change wireless settings over here there is also options that you can choose to customize for example make this pc discoverable you could choose to have that as off and uh, that's one setting here another one is the wi-fi sense under Wi-Fi, this is another uh, consideration to keep in mind. Uh, connect to suggested Wi-Fi open wi hotspots, uh, maybe not, uh, unless you choose to connect to something you don't want to connect automatically. Connect uh, to networks shared by my contacts. Uh, that's if you're concerned about privacy, you don't want that. Paid Wi-Fi services. And you can see those options from there. The other thing that you can do is if you go here under settings and you search for privacy, it will also give you a listing of all the different types of privacy. So it's kind of a different look at it. Um, it's basically what we checked earlier, but uh, you can, let's say you're concerned about email privacy. Well, you can just click on it and it will give you pretty much a similar window what you had earlier. So hopefully that helps and um, the reason for collecting the information is providing you customized information and enhanced services as you utilize the computer and the searching capabilities of Windows.